Good morning, it is day four of Vlogmas, and I am just having a little bit of a slower start to my morning. I'm already on my second cup of coffee. It's so delicious. I've got an extra shot of espresso in there. And I finally caked up my Cozy Knitter Advent skein last night. And I'm almost done my second cuff, finally. So I'm really excited that I will start striping today. I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of time to finish my coffee and finish this cuff. I've been tidying up this morning, doing a little bit of admin work, but the exciting thing about today is that December 4th is Camden's birthday. And it's not just any birthday, he's turning 16. I'm so blown away that 16 years have gone by. I just find myself really thinking about him and what an amazing kid he is and what an amazing little guy he was too. So I'm just thinking back a lot of good memories and feeling a little emotional today because my baby is 16. So he is such a sweetheart. He really doesn't ask for much. Um, so he's just requested one of his favorite dinners at home, which is a bolognese sauce. And I think I'm gonna make brownies so he can make a brownie sundae because that's one of his favorites. He doesn't know. And I think it's safe to say on here because I don't think he's watching the Vlogmases. But we do have a special surprise planned for him for this weekend. We are going to be going away for the weekend and he has no idea. And it's one of his favorite things. He just loves time with family and it's not so much about gifts with him. It's about experiences. So I'm really looking forward to a little getaway with him and my guys this weekend. And I'm also meeting him for lunch today. He's requested a lunch date. And um, I think we're going to be able to pick up James at his school and do lunch, the three of us. So that'll be really nice and it'll be everything Camden wanted. So I'm going to just spend a few more minutes here while I can before I have to get ready for the day and get moving. I totally lost track of time because I was enjoying my knitting so much. So I quickly got ready. I've picked up James and now we are at Camden School where uh, I'm picking him up and we are going to go for lunch. There he is now. And I am wearing my Adventurous Wrap by Amba O'Brien, which I made last, you can come in, which I made last Vlogmas. I am so tired. I just got back, but I had a great lunch with the boys and now they are all back at school. And this is what kept me running late this morning. I finished the second cuff of my Advent socks and I started the colors, like the stripes. And it's so much fun. You can barely see because it's curling up, but I'm already on the second color. And I think my plan is to work on one sock in the morning and then catch up on the second sock to the same point in the evenings because I think I could manage that. And I'm also not sure if I'm going to stick to just one stripe per day. I might do a couple because I have to put heels in and there might be a day or two here and there that I won't be able to knit so much. So I think that's the plan. I also stopped at the grocery store and got some more ice cream and a couple things for our brownie birthday Sundays tonight. And that's it. I'm just gonna make sure I have everything ready for his birthday dinner tonight, get a little bit organized and tidy up the house a little bit. Can you tell we have a bunny rabbit living somewhere just behind that fence? I'm waiting to see him. I see him in the summer, but I don't really see him. I think he stays inside most of these cold days. I've been tidying up my studio space for a little while now, and I thought I would check in and share what I'm doing in here. So the first thing I did was bring this rocking chair up here that was in my front room. It's not the best spot, but I don't have a chair in here, and it's nice to have somewhere to sit and knit for a few minutes. So I'm gonna try that out in here, which required a little bit of rearranging. So I've just been kind of moving little things aside just all these little bits and things around here. 
And it seems like every time I have a big shop update, which I did last week or last weekend, I have to kind of purge and clean and reorganize again. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just getting rid of a lot of garbage, things that accumulate on my work table. It just happens. I don't know why. And now that I come in here to edit every night, um, it's nice to have a clean space. So that's what I'm working on now. This all looks pretty good. I've got piles starting here. I've got a couple things here I've been picking up for Christmas presents, uh, the rest of Glenn's advent calendar. I've got some supplies here to do some visual schedules, um, cleaning up here. But this, this is the messy part that I need to sort out. This pile has been here for so long, so I just need to go through paperwork, old magazines, figure out what I want to do with it. I'm going to pack up the giveaways. I have a package to ship, and I think that's it. I just fixed my letter board and put back my favorite quote for my shop, which is handmade to cradle your craft. And I think I'm almost done. I'm just dreading this last pile right here. This is the worst, but I'm almost there. I've also sorted through my mini collection and kind of edited down to um, a selection of yarns that I would like to use for the Northeasterly blanket, which is by Skinanigans. I've seen so many people working on this on vlogs and in podcasts, and I've got them all in my Rock Baby Scissors bag, which I love. It's so pretty. So I've edited them, and I've got quite the selection in here. I've got my needles in here. I had these signature needles a really long time ago. Um, they were for my Cozy Memories blanket, which I kind of gave up on. And so I'm looking forward to working on this. Hopefully this December, I will start that. And I've got everything kind of collected in one bag. And I have another bag hanging up over there that has an overflow of a lot of minis. That's not including the advents that I'm opening up now. So I think I'm going to share those with a friend, just go through them. And I know she's working on a blanket too, and I want to share. So that's it. I'm going to get to the last bit of organizing. This was the fun part. Now it's off to the paperwork. Ta-da! I managed. It was not as bad as I thought. So that is it. My room is pretty tidy, very organized. And now I've got to go start dinner. Camden has requested one of his favorite meals at home, which is pasta with bolognese sauce. And the recipe I use for this is online and it is so amazing. It's by Marcella Hazan. And if you just Google um, Marcella Hazan Bolognese, you'll find the recipe. So, so good. It's really simple. I'm starting it now and I'm just gonna let it simmer here for as long as possible. A couple of hours will do it. And then I will start making the brownies. 